Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace be with you. We are talking about the victims and all the victims and in which way we have to repair what should be repaired in our historical tradition. And, and when we come to Islam, we understand that there is something which is essential in the way we are dealing with women. Because the way our scriptural sources and the text were interpreted were, was very much uh, influenced by the cultural surrounding at that time, the environment. And it was very much uh, based on the patriarcha, in the way the men were reading the scriptural sources. And when you come to the text, you understand that there are many, many things that were misinterpreted and wrongly interpreted as to the text themselves. And we have to repair this in order to come to the very essence of the, the Islamic message has to do with the equal dignity of men and women before God and within the society equal rights for the same competence, the same salary, for the same uh, presence and um, uh, interpersonal relationships within the society. They have to get the same rights and we have to repair this. And this is part of uh, the way we have to come back to the sources and to uh, disentangle the sources and the scriptural sources from the cultural constraints and the cultural understanding. That's important, but at the same time what we have to do is to avoid uh, three traps within this process. The first one is to understand this as a battle, a struggle between men and women uh, in the name of women's rights. And that's completely wrong. What we have to do is to come together, to reread the text, to reinterpret the text in order to change the cultural understanding. This is the first trap and this is an important one. The second one is this kind of victimization. It's as if because a woman, it's uh, the victims of discrimination and exploitation in the patriarchal system, that as the victims, we have to nurture the sense, oh, I am a victim and this is because uh, I'm treated in such a way that I should not and I cannot uh, deal with uh, uh, my duties as a woman. And this is something which is wrong. And presenting the man as, uh, in fact, the one who is oppressing. And this is wrong because even men are the victims of the cultural setting, the cultural environment within which they were educated. And this has to also to be understood. So we have to come together to do this. And the third one is, uh, uh, the first trap that we have to avoid is this kind of sacralizing uh, what the victims are saying. It's as if because a woman is complaining, she's always right and she's right by definition. No, that's not true. In you if you come to the Quran and you look at Bilqis, Bilqis is the voice of wisdom and she is saying the truth. But uh, the wife of the governor uh, in the story of Yusuf is just lying and she recognized at the end that she was lying. So she can say the truth and she can uh, lie at the, at the same time, exactly as a man. This is the reality of our condition and this has to be avoided at the same time. Three traps, but something which is essential, repairing and mending and fixing the reality of cultural discrimination in the name of what the texts are telling us. Equal right and equal dignity before God and within society. Don't forget to tell the people you love that you love them. Life is fragile. Let's...